Kaya nung sahay mo, ang tuming bukid, kaya mga yung saging na luago, or kamuting kahoy, kamuting kahoy. Or, yeah, that's my diet. Saging nga saba. And kaya gong, you see her, love me guys. Look at her. We've been walking around Constance and she turns a lot of heads. On this episode of Breaking Bread with J. Alexis, I caught up with my good friend Janine. She comes from humble beginnings in Asturias, Cebu and is now working as a psychiatric nurse in Constance. Now, she has one of the most inspiring stories that I ever came across with and it'll be a shame if we don't share her story to the rest of the world. So, hali, magsugilan na punta. <laughs> Hola, hey amigos, my adlao. I'm currently in Constance right now, and I'm here with my one of my good friends, Janine. So she was my classmate in Deutsch course. No, we were never classmates actually, because like when I joined the class, this was uh, B2. You were no longer. Right. Yeah, with that class, because you just stayed until B1. Yeah. Because like, guys, she's such a legend. <laughs> she did not even join the Deutsch course at all. She was just there for like a few days, and she realized she didn't need it because like she just studied. It like by herself and she was that great she was that good and that's why she's a legend and she has a very inspiring story that's the reason why I'm here because I just really wanted to talk to her because there was one post like um, she had on Facebook and she talked about her life story when she was young and she talked about her dad and I've always known Janine as this superwoman but I I just knew that we barely scratched the surface because like there is just so much more to her she has so much grit and she is so smart and uh, I'm just thankful that she's here willing to share her story salamat, huh? okay so Janine so uh, you're a nurse here in Germany so pina na makakatuig na nurse dere. I'm working here for five years now. Yeah, and you're working as a what gani? Unsa And now as a psychiatric nurse. Psychiatric nurse. And could you tell us um unsa imong scope sa imong trabaho dere as a nurse? Because like when you mentioned it, it was it was very interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, um, it's a really interesting job a station. So it's new for me because it's mm, I've never experienced it in Philippines because yeah. we don't have like a, a specific like really psychiatric in a forensic yeah. setting mm -hmm. so I, I'm in a forensic station in a psychiatry with patients who are from prison mm -hmm. and they're um, they're in our therapy station because of drugs uh -huh. like they they committed a crime yeah. with the influence of drugs mm -hmm. so they for example they will have a 10 years um, time mm -hmm. in prison and if they choose to go to our therapy then they will be like three years or four years instead of ten yes yeah. yeah and do, do you feel scared like no okay thinking uh, your jobs are I like mean your job entails you to interact with um, criminals do you get scared you know, probably in one instant something might happen they might like take you hostage or they might do something to you um, never did occur to me because I asked also my previous colleagues and that in 15 years mm -hmm. it didn't happen and based on trust and relationship relationships of patients yeah. they are because they have only personality problems um, more on them are narcissistic mm -hmm. like um, yeah but they're not psychotic or so. That's a different story. So they are, they will be in another station. So the psychotic patients are more dangerous, but the the, um, the our patients are just like normal. Yeah. They just committed crimes, but they're like normal. You interact with them. Yeah. yeah. And you're basically their muse, right? Because like yeah. you mentioned to me, you guys were like walking and strolling in the city. Yeah, so we have a structure Monday mm -hmm. to Friday yeah. that's in the office therapy and then like Wednesday we go to the city um, that's the Einkaufen Park yeah. so we go shopping they have a list mm -hmm. they have to go to here and there and we go eat yeah. drink coffee and then to build our relationship with them as well and I can really tell that you're very happy with your, with your job yeah I'm right? with my job because like for a while I've seen you yeah. jumping from one place to another and I think you've finally found your city yeah. you've finally found your job here in Germany Right, so. and soon you're going to be joined by your daughter Kyrie and your husband Christian. And shout out to them because they're 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 arriving soon. Yes, next right? month. Next Hi, month, Mama. and they're gonna be. Oh, Kyrie is starting yeah. a school soon. She will be um, 
entering grade one here in September. Yeah. And I remember like the first time I met Kyrie, this was during her baptismal. And I forgot like how old was she that time? She was one year old. W was it one year old? I thought it was just one month. Yeah. That, that was so fast. I was like, when I saw the pictures, I was like, God, Kyrie is big now. Yeah, that time flies so fast. And um, also, let's talk about your childhood because this is something that have always intrigued me and this is something that I've o that I've always heard from you I know that you have a very interesting and very inspiring childhood and when you told me about all your all the challenges that you had to go through in life I was so amazed um, with where you are now and how you started back then and um, you have humble beginnings from Asturias and Cebu right and uh, is, is it okay? Yeah. yeah, it's okay to talk about mm -hmm. it, right? Yeah, yes. It's okay. And um, you mentioned, okay, the first time that I read about it was uh, via that Facebook post you had for your dad. Mm -hmm. that was, I think, birthday or yeah, Father's, Day. Father's Day or birthday. Yeah, Father's Day, and you, you said nga, your dad is Imangingisda. And ni mo before nga it nangitum ka sa una because naa ka sa laot then I could not imagine like Janine sa kung nangitum like I've always known her as this very slim and very sophisticated and you kind of look like pul kanagong <laughs> yo someone from Maria Luisa and not from as so from a small town in Asturias. Kampot lang pero lucky lang siguro kung mm -hmm. sa pero di o nangisda ko sa una town ko yung sa kung papa mm -hmm. and yeah, so I was like, I can remember four years old uh -huh. since I started going with the boat uh -oh. and overnight to Salaw uh -oh. and then going back the next day. Then, dito na ko na learn ng hardship sa life. Mm -hmm. Like, makita na ko kung papa na wala isda, mm -hmm. kay kusug ang sug sa dagat, like oh. ang current, mm -hmm. so wala mi kuha. Then, na instead na siguro sa kung may naluya, na muoy, mm -hmm. ng mm -hmm. so. Like there are days na wala jud mikaon or magshare ami sa saka itlog ni seven mika exo. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or sardinas. Sardinas. Or magbagyo dan wala nami palay. Or <laughs> unsa ba kung is uh, unsa pa pwede makaon didto kung wala. Manginhas. Unsa eh. manginhas? Like kung mag low tide. Oh. Uh, Munang shells? Shells. Ay, okay ka lang mi, diba? Manginhas di ang tawag dai yeah. ana. Go sa hay kan armo kan on kay wa may patbukas mm -hmm. then usahay mo ang tuming bukid kay mga yog saging nalong ago mm -hmm. or kamuting kahoy ah, kamuting kaho. or yeah that's my diet saging nga saba <laughs> and kana gong you see her loving <laughs> guys look at her <laughs> we've been walking around constance and she turns a lot of heads <laughs> Actually, <laughs> and I remember there was this one time like a mother and daughter came up to her because like the kid wanted to take a picture with her because she looks like a Schauspielerin or an actress. <laughs> and this has this did not just happen just once; it happened already multiple times. People would approach her, um, would want to take pictures of her, and from the looks, from her looks, you could not tell that she faced through such hardship in life. So um, we really from a poor village and poor, yeah, very poor, poorest of the poor. I can say in class, pinaka pobre jud ko, like sa una, mais nga kanon or sometimes rice is suited and plastic kaya wala may bawna na. Dahon day sa saging? Sometimes kung na, sa hay wala, basta yun, mas practical, then sa hay wala ko yung sapatos. So I have chinilas is left and right and like color. Bus lot as in and ako kalo oy my god. Pero enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the childhood, no? Biskain ka na ng nabay kulang pero you never feel like there's something lacking because you're so complete with love from your family. Correct. Yeah. Tapos ah you went to school. Tapos ah makan ng high school sa Asturias gihapon. No sa kuan sa private high school. Pero sa Asaman? Sa St. Francis of Assisi sa Balamban. Sa Balamban? Yeah, but because of the scholarship to high school. Before, kaya sa mga dato or na siya na private school. Para na mo ha kay what should me court ha. So, nag-apply ko ang scholarship and then nakuha ako na kayo foster parents sa Belgium. But bro, the problem is, wala sa good place eh. Kaya mo sakay pa man ng tricycle or so. So sometimes mapangon na ako. Sometimes mangutang eh. Para na lang kayo place eh. Paingon sa syudad, gigan sa Asturias, di ba? Correct. Nasa ko eh, kaoban na ito na time sa una nga. Nasa sila eh, 
puwertahan sila gamay sa so, mm. nasilay sa kanan so musakay ko ni ya, sa iyang sa ilang anak na may car eh, din ihatod eh, kuha so mm. musakay ko ba sinakoy ka ng buhaton like ka ng mugib ba ko so tutu, mag tutor ko sa iyang anak mm. <laughs> tutor ko math or uh -oh. math or physics what's physics na yeah, so, oh physics yeah or chemistry uh -oh. how how more on math kay mas hina siya ma so in return mo sa kay for free so so check na nga akong complete eh. but next time sad ka o so sometimes mo hap ko sa canteen uh -oh. para na koy makaon uh -oh. mong go sponsor mo sa kay sad kong busy kanang ko an sometimes kanang unsara na siya memorize na lang ka o so okay uh -oh. lunch oh di ay ana ang live pero despite all this <laughs> I graduated from high school. What did you do? Honor student, right? Honor student. And you mentioned that in the Kalisod, there's a possibility that you can be the top one. But of course, when it comes to projects, you can procure certain things. You end up like top two or top three. Not really top one, maybe, but... So, I don't know. But yeah, I'm okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You have to think about like... What's going to be your food for the day, for tomorrow? What's your family? Then eventually, the nursing. Ka asa magandi ka ng nursing sa Cebu? Sa CCMC, CCU, Cebu City Medical Center. And you told me also nga you found a scholarship. Yes. Yaha pun di ba? Ikaw gitan ng usog ato makakita ng scholarship. Could you tell us more about it? Ano tuh siya like since kuwang ang ihatag sa foster parent na ako kay I need for apartment, food, school supplies so. Um, I applied, I saw, um, I talked to the dean, kaya every time ka nang mag prelims or finals, oh. sige lang kong promissory note, yeah. <laughs> kasi kung kalit ang bayad, oh. then ako mga classmates is nag-take na sa exam, oh. ako is nagdali-dali pa, nangita pag signature sa dean, oh. kaya para makatake na ko sa exam. Mm. Na, then, I applied and asked if my scholarship is available to other scholarships and she said, yeah, there's an organization, a nurses association in Florida. They give $500 per semester. So I applied, although they require like 1.5 average and I don't have that average, I still tried my best and I wrote why and then Luckily, I got it. So, sa imong school, ikaw rin na kuha atong na scholarship? On that, on that semester and oh, okay. year. Ah, yeah. okay. And because of that, it helped you through like the entire university. Mm -hmm. no? And naka-graduate ka, and you became a nurse. Yes. And you, you mentioned also katong mga imuhang kalisod and the, the struggles that you had whilst you were in university, right? Like, with the food, yes. the uniform, mga projects. <laughs> So I, I don't have really money to buy the books so mm. of Xerox copy. Mm -hmm. But what helped me kay Mamino to get my discussion mm. kay sometimes mango de butong kadi naka study taro. Mm. So more on my memories, the actual like I can recall kana yung sa pag discuss or explain sa mga teacher. Mm. Then wala ako yung notebook ng mga halon, mga inana. So mo skwela po ako yung notebook kana yellow pad lang or uh -oh. pan paper mga yung po dali hara kung notes. Then eventually, <laughs> you learned in German, yeah. German and you arrived here. No, so can you guys, she did not join the A1 class, B1 class, and you just decided to join the B1 class just to check, just to gauge the level of um, knowledge that you have for yes. German language, right? Then you realize uh, you have more than enough. Because I remember I had this private tutor, her name is Louie. She was talking to me about this, like, very beautiful and very smart girl in her class and she and she was like she's not always there in school she comes just once in a while but when she shows up it's all perfect she she aces all the exams and the tests and she was just so impressed and i did not know that it was janine and people were so raving about her until I eventually i met her uh by uh, our classmates beth mary joy and joy ebba and this is the reason why she is such a uh, Legends, I'm one class. Nya kanagong kani si Janine muragu. She's always absent, and there were times when you would bring your daughter sa sa school, right? And Louis even told me nga there were times that she would carry your daughter while lecturing, and look at you now, and you did not take the beat the beat spy class, right? And you just took the exam directly, and you passed it, you aced it. That's how that's how amazing you are, Janine. Because if I I don't know ako ika na target like I always take risks and 
I don't know. I na lang ko ako an <laughs> confidence na kanang makaya rin yun ako kay Morex. So kung sa pagkabata, yeah. lagi na ko galisod so. Everything is just so easy Everything for you, right? So kanang <laughs> you've been through worse. Yeah. Yung kanagong nasana na ka sa kadaghang mm -hmm. struggles, like yeah. and everything else is wala lang. So yeah. you, because the thing is you have grit. You know, biskan unsa pa imo ihatag ni mo. You know that you can just overcome it. Yeah. So even if kanang money or mm. kanang great problem man mo money sa uno, na jud way na ang um, uh, maybe Lord or the universe na mutabang jud. Yeah. So I believe that there's something na yeah, our willpower I think mm. and akong papaningon sa siya nga mo jud na makatabang ni mo. Yeah. Dili ka mo give up and so yeah, mo na patimbang gi ko sa una ko an. <laughs> Oh, okay. 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 Oh, kanang half ka nga kanang Amerikana. <laughs> <laughs> Magnaluoy siya. So, iyon kung kita ga-accord, dos mo siguro to or please. So, oh. Ipay na kayo. Ipay na kayo. <laughs> and, karun nga naka sa Germany, kanagong, when you just look back now sa inyong mga kaagian, kanang, do you think of it fondly? Makatawan lang ka sa inyong mga na-experience mm -hmm. sa inyong kabataan o sa inyong kalisod? Magkatawa lang ko pero pasalamat sa ko nga naagis ko na kay it gave me the skills to overcome hardships. Yeah. Okay, also here in Germany, ko mm. an like kano. Ay nung if, if na ay problems there, mo na ako na nakaya magayon ako sa unang apat mm. pa ko ato. Yeah. Samut nakaroon na ako na ko di ba so. Because like there were also people who would ask you nga if given the chance, Janine, would you want to change your childhood and be born to a wealthy family? And your answer will always be. No, I prefer my lifestyle before. Yeah. Born to the same parents mm -hmm. with the same. Even if walay atok among balay maguwan, yeah. makita na ako ang langit. Yeah. <laughs> Mabasa mi, uh -huh. wala mi unlan. Yeah. As in, ingo just ako ka over there sa Germany. I'm not used to having kanang apilo. Uh huh. Because wala mi unlan kay sabi mi kama nagsuot mm. sarang or duha mo. Mm -hmm. share na nag kuna way online niya sa floor lang happy mm -hmm. na namo panic or hapol mm -hmm. tapos you mentioned nga <laughs> the first time you owned the television was when you were 17 years old yes din yes. kasabaan pagi ka sa yung mama kay katong bata ka kanang maadto ka pa sa pikas balay para muntan ang dragon ball yes after school pan ako oh, oh. dragon ball ko may tv oh. as in para mong silingan sa high tabunan pa kay hindi oh. pa tan aw kanigin si tita kay kabalo na siya nga nagikapoy na gani kay nang isda Mau nabi ato mo ang nakasabaan ka pa. Ah, yes. Nya, mau na siya. Pero, karun nga, naalak ka karun sa Germany. Like, kana kung unsa man ang feeling sa pananaw sa mga tao. And even, you can tell yourself, you know you made it. You're already here. You've achieved your dreams. Everything that you've always wanted, you've achieved it. Kana kung unsa man imong na feel nga na naabot na magid nimo imo ang mga gusto o mga gina, mga ginahan do for me as a concept satisfied ko kay na nakatapang ko sa mm -hmm. parents ng so on pero um continue lang kay pun ko health kay wa pan humadong balay mm -hmm. pero satisfied na ko kay na na palit na namo mong yuta nga almost may napahawa na wa mi ka uh -oh. so politey na siya ang balay na lang and then ang anak sa kong kuya Mm -hmm. Ako continue supportahan. Mm -hmm. Pero na kayo siya pariha sa financial problems mm -hmm. like before, Jude. Mm -hmm. Karon makakaon na may three times a day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Di na memorize. And I think the reason why nga, you're so blessed, Janine, because you have such a big heart. Because you help your family, you help everyone that is around you. Because the thing is, she's not even the eldest. The you're, fourth. You're the fourth kid. And I was surprised because I, I, I've always thought that you're the eldest. Ang ending, ikaw maday, in a way, ikaw a middle child. Yes, I'm the middle child. Right? But you were able to help some of your siblings finish their education. Yes. So, there are two who became um, teachers mm. and one is an engineer. Mm. And the two have started but they did not finish. But it's okay, they have their own family and work. But 
Yes. And my father is so proud. <laughs> yeah. My father, by the way, cannot read, cannot write. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but she's, but he's quite so proud of us. Yeah, I'm pretty sure proud in Kayo. <laughs> diba, yes. um, tulun na magan yung pampot karon, yeah. diba? Least dag hapon siya, yeah. kahi kay go, pero. Oh. And I, 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 yung addiction karon is kind of beautifying his <laughs> Boat. his boats. Kina siya pang dagat, ta siya pang pang racing. Mo na yung kalingawan. And you mentioned also the last time when you went home, nag-uban po ganiyag na nagat, di ba? Namasul ni. O nak niya nakak. Buhak ka. Oh. Okay. Ba ko mamasul. Mo na kung pa kanang. Expertise. <laughs> Expertise. So this a Germany lang din lang ko ka patakag pa masul kay kinhang lag license. Exactly. Yo was a good banka. But na koy friend na fisherman sila pero social ilang boat dere nga ilang fisherman dere dato. Kana pang sport fishing and after catching they release the fish. Yes. In a pay ni bo sila nganong expert kay ko about fishing. Sila ka tuod jud nga mangista ko na mo mamana ni na masul manginhas. Sa akong kuan ko no, sa akong now, mas naman dito sa akong now. Exactly right. Are you sure, Jadine? Are you sure? Gusto lang mo to. You went through all that. Gusto lang maka-open. Pero later on ito, nasa high grab, nika details. And earlier, we were in Mearsburg. And nagkaragong timing, there were buskers, they were singing Bella Chao, Bella Chao. Tapos ako, Jadine, you should walk. Because kind of perfect in siya nga. When you whilst walking, the background is that, then they're singing that for you. And of course, we we took a video of that, yeah, the It, it was such a lovely afternoon and thank you so much for um, allowing me to interview you and um, joining me for the day thank okay you. this is the first time we've met since pinas three years no yeah yes pinas right diba sa pinas yeah. no the last time i saw you was um your child's baptism i think her uh, birthday i didn't but then wait her first birthday i think yeah she was wearing gray Ah, was yeah, for our first, first birthday, I Six told you. years ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I've always been, I don't know, I just felt comfortable with Janine because you can really tell nga, someone's a good person. Right? The energy never lies, you guys. And uh, you you just meet like someone, yeah, nga, this person is beautiful inside and out. And so much more important because you know that this person has a big heart. And kanagong when you feel nga kanang lisod kay imong life you're going through things then you remember na si Janine Magani she experienced all those hardships nga no there's no reason for you to just cry and feel like your life is over just because you're experiencing so much hardship karon Janine like what would you want to tell your younger self my younger self to my younger self i'm so proud of you yeah. that you did that you did not kanang wala ka ni resort to other things para lang makakwarta kay actually I was katong yung pa ko no feel ako na juko ikaw sa ulit kiko kiko ako nito ung agwap pa ko sa una inan na lawas pero nasa may ingon ako na for example like na mga dato malalaki may ingon sila lang ako na yah uyab puti ka or inan na pa tagaan tika kwarta wajuk ko na you didn't have to resort to that yeah. because you have so much more to offer yeah. than just your looks, right? Yes. That's what's important because you have a heart and you're so smart and you have grit, yes. right? So. so what would you say your ano, imong hashtag sa imong life right now? What would be the hashtag of your life right now? Be hashtag, be grateful, and you can do it. Yeah, and just like you have always done, Janine, you've always done whatever it is that you set your mind. But grateful lang sa kay kumusa nang ito sa mga papa nga dapat thankful kami sa kagamay. Like 
katong nakatrabaho na ko bisag sa sipo like thankful ko nga na ko ikaon mm. happy na kay ko nga thankful ko nga for the first time na ko ikik sa akong birthday mm. oh yeah kasi i remember <laughs> you said nga kanagong kanang sukad bata ka never kina ka experience og cake sa imong birthday yeah, diba never cake nga ang itlog is luxury na na siya nga na ko itlog sa birthday uh -oh. boiled egg uh -oh. boiled egg is happy na kay minami food egg can you can you remember like the first time you had a birthday cake Working. Yeah. 19. Mm -hmm. yes. My first work. Uh -huh. After my first work. Uh-huh. Yes. And can I'm pretty sure your daughter is going to watch this and she'd be like she'd be so amazed by her mom. Um, I think so. She's always yeah, she always tells me that Mama, I'm so proud. I don't know why, but she said, Mama, yeah. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Because especially the kids now, they they have it easy. Diba? But I still can ko an here na iya sa di ko ano like di na ko siya tagat sa tanan nagusto niya yeah. and kasabut sa siya nga nagwork ko mm. for for her and for my family and um, i earn sa niya ang money din in ways and thankful sa like thankful for what she has also na ko ginatundo niya nga thankful sa ginagmay ng butang and this is to develop her character also, right? And um, for her not to become like a snowflake and for her to become just like you. And you know, I, I someone think, strong. Yeah, correct. And I see here that I, I see that in her mm. now is it's in a young age pangan. Na siya koan kanang strong character. So yeah. She is kanang koan very empathic, lovely, but na ju siya strong side. Yes. Yes. I'm so happy. <laughs> well, like, thank you so much for sharing. And I really appreciate it because it's a very personal story of yours. And I've always told you, Janine, your story is so inspiring and I really want this I really want to share this to the world. And I'm sure there's someone from like a small town in Cebu, probably from Asturias also, who would watch this and they would think about you, Kanagong. Eventually Malampasan Gihapun. Deba? Yes. And I think my relatives and my neighbors are really a testament to that. Yeah. They saw me when I was a Little, child yeah. and my family, how we suffer, yeah. we literally suffer. And now. Karon magulik karon moro na kay artista. Pero pati iya pun ko. Karon mo ni na mutala ona siya kinsa lala na diabot si Janine diabot si Janine gikan na Germany. Pero na bawon bawon ako kamay pero mo chun siya ng color guys unfortunate. Well, Dagan Salamat Janine, thank you so much. And uh, we are going to explore the beautiful city of Constance. So across Constance is just Österreich, Austria and Switzerland. Switzerland. It's, this is so beautiful because they have a big lake and the lake is so huge that you would think it's already the ocean. The only right. difference is that you don't smell the saltiness in the air. <laughs> that, that's what I miss because like earlier we were crossing, we, we went to um, my place, kata ako ginarantahan for the night, and I was like, Janine, we're, it's almost like we're back in Cebu. It's just that pulang lang sa saltiness. <laughs> other than that, everything really here is so beautiful. perfect. Yeah. And this is the reason why also saying, uh, you always make sure you spend time sa mga people nga adds value to your life, and Janine is one of those, uh, ba? Because uh, para sa kung matter ang people nga who show up and who make sure that they stay in your life also. And I would love to spend my time with people that are giving me life experience, are giving me life advices, and sharing me their life stories and their inspiring um, stories, deba. Right? Yeah. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. So guys, thank you, Sonora, thank you so much for watching Breaking Bread with Hello. J Alexis and Janine. And uh, Janine, you might wanna say hi to your family. Hi, Kyrie. Here's Mama, Papa. Are you going? Astoria. Oh, send that money more to the link, right? Yeah. Okay, hands on the Ciao.